Hi everybody, welcome to This Work World, my name is Joe, and I am about to go to the Adventure Travel Film Festival 2018. This year is looking really really good, like all the other years there's been there's going to be some amazing films, really looking forward to them, and particularly really excited about this year because they're showing my little short about Nora Adventurism. It's documenting a trip about a Dutch lady going from the Netherlands, her home country, to Bali by herself, solo, on a motorbike over 11 months. It's a pretty cool story. She's also on YouTube so you should definitely check her out. I need to actually start packing. I'm all packed and ready to go. Let's head off. I met Darren at Summer in the City last year. It's been a whole year since I've met this guy and we've yes. had some incredible time. It's been a great past pretty, year. Pretty amazing year. Fantastic. And we're all both really excited for the actual film festival. Um, we've just started to order food. It's just been pissing down with rain, so I hope it dries up. So, right, mission one, now that we've landed, well actually, second mission. The second mission is to set up the camp. Thankfully, it stopped raining, so, Darren, you ready? I'm ready. He's ready, let's do this. sun's come out, it's nice and blue and so what we're going to do now is go indoors and ignore the sunshine. But first, a quick drink. It's first the work pitching up tents and whatnot. We've just seen a couple of things. The first thing we saw was a Swedish lady travelling through Iran. Amazing, amazing story. The fact that she had went by herself, she felt the need to just travel good to Iran, had loads of help from the Iranians. Once again, Iran, I would love to come to your country and just travel around. People would seem so nice. Second thing was actually a talk. Basically, a guy who travelled for about 10 years uh, around the world on the horses. Really entertaining talk and we just had a really, really lovely dinner. And Darren, what do you think? Love it. Darren's Everyone loving it. Everyone should come to this film festival. Oh, be boss man! Don't you hear me when I call? Boss man! Don't you hear me when I call? So this is day two. Today's the main day. Uh, oh wow, it really is raining. Really... Started today watching a fantastic film about an Iranian classic car uh, called a Pikram. It's a Pikram car. It's made in the start of production in the 60s, 70s. It was just really well told, I thought. There's some absolutely humorous interviews actually in it and I absolutely loved it. Second one was also another car based um, documentary. It's about a guy who drove the VW Beetle around the world and he got, he basically sold the Beetle to get back from Australia to Canada where he was living and it tells, tells a story about Beetle and how it was used as a great vehicle to, to travel around by this guy. 
really uh, felt uh, documentary. This Beatle, the original one, um, that he had to sell to get back. I thought it was lost in the in the past somewhere. After I think it was like 40 odd years, it got reunited with the guy. Absolutely great story. Absolutely loved it. And that last film I've just watched, The Road of Independence, is about a British guy who basically walked all the way from the north to the southern part of India and followed the steps of uh, Gandhi along this uh, salt route. And two years to this day, um, he came, came, went to Austin and actually said, hey, I've got ideas for this film. They both developed the idea. And we just talked for an hour and a half about what that film might end up like. I uh, made a secret uh, to Ollie at the time that this was my dream moment. Someone was at this film festival looking for advice, inspiration and encouragement and best of all, knowledge. And the film that came out, really really good stuff because he was here he had a bit of a q a session and no doubt i'm gonna grill him a bit later about some of the questions how he actually did certain things oh and also last night that at the starlight film was about a guy who actually built a plane at rv1 and traveled all around the world absolutely mental fantastic film and round about the time it was when the september 11th uh, towers fell and it it really was like a time capsule and it kind of made me felt sad because of some of the um, sites you just can't see anymore. It was two people, the, f the guy who made it and also um, his partner <laughs> and some absolutely funny moments and really like covered the landscapes and how uh, what they saw and really well put together. Initially they created a video just for the family and in the end they just tur turned out a really great film and also I got to actually uh, watch my own film here. It was really really strange watching it with other people watching it at the same time. Anyway, enough of uh, stroking my own ego. Time to try and catch a few more short films. This is day three. This final day, uh, it's a shorter day. It's finishing around about two, three o'clock uh, today. Just seen a couple of really good films. I uh, had a chance to actually see Austin give a bit of a private uh, filmmaker's little talk. And today he talked about how to uh, set the scene and how to create a scene and talk about sequences and how to produce. Uh, lots of it I kind of like semi new anyway. So it's a nice good refresher course. Another great movie that I was playing earlier today was uh, from three guys who created a film called Global Convoy, which is the same name as their whole community. Go across around the world and buy the cheapest of cars, started from the UK and literally went all around the world with next to no planning. It really actually tried to convey the message that the world really isn't a scary and intimidating place. What I'm really just amazed about is just the amount of people that they picked up from hitchhikers, people they uh, met on the uh, community and just generally people on the way. There's this one particular American uh, young lady they picked up. She's never been out of America, only just got a passport for um, the trip. Had a good old chin wag with them yesterday uh, at the at the party last night. Great, great bunch of people, really good bunch. I am tempted to join the next um, big trip. Oh yeah, that's another thing. They're, they're setting up, they're creating a community that pretty much does this uh, on a regular basis. So the first one was one year. They came back from another one recently, that's a month. Definitely check out these guys, um, Global Convoy. I'll add a link to the description. I think the biggest takeaway this year is how I think that anybody can create a travel adventure film, honestly. If they can, if they take my film, I'm sure any of you guys watching this can do a good film. Just learn to use the basics for camera. Use, you don't even need to get yourself a fancy camera. But I honestly think that iPhones are some of the best cameras I've seen on a, on a smartphone, honest to God. 
um, start there, create something, and you never know, you might end up in the Venture Travel Film Festival next year. If you get a chance, or if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Hopefully I'll be doing a few more interviews in the future, because I really like doing like a character profile pieces, like the film I did about Nora. For the last 14 months, I rode from Amsterdam to Bali alone. I'm king of the road. I am king of the road. I had gotten my motorcycle license a year before, but I'd never left the Netherlands on my bike. I'd never ridden off-road on my bike. Music is my money and my story will be told. The life is like the sound that makes us all together bound. Let it out. I'd love to hear if there's any other like interesting travel adventure film festivals that you know about, or just interesting film festivals around Europe especially. Add it in the discussion. And if you have any ideas for a good travel film I can get my teeth into, definitely let me know. Add it in the discussion. Any hoots, I'll catch you in the next video. May have gone to the wrong school. Went, went, I went to the prep school. I'm doing two videos at the same time. This is very, very confusing. independent one-man film production unit which is what he, he, he achieved when you, when you watch this film above all else i want you to remember that he did it all on his own and that is the excuse that are going to be going celebrities give and celebrity apologists say oh well, you can't expect that celebrity to go off to that place and make a film on their own that can't be done well, it bloody well can <laughs> Okay, and you're about to see it. Okay? The second thing is that it demonstrates, unfortunately, how much effort it takes. Dolly has not stopped working on this since he got back. Six months. Six months of work. Pretty much non-stop work. Not go back to not go back to the office job. Six months sitting in his bedroom looking at his computer, not the traditional reasons, I mean. <laughs> Working, working on this edit. And this is, when you see it, and it, of course it's great, that's why it got selected. When you see it, that's six months' work. God knows how much preparation, a long time doing it, doing the actual trip, and then six months afterwards, just to get to today, the first screening. So there's even a chance that this cut could get refined a bit more. Okay? So it's a huge, huge deal what he's achieved. And to see 48 months of someone, or 24 months of somebody's life compressed into an end offering of one hour, I think is an exceptional experience. And I'm so pleased that we're all here to, um, to share it.